Welcome to St. Moritz, Switzerland, the birthplace of the sport of bobsledding. And today, it'll be the eighth and final World Cup competition of the season to determine the World Cup champion, but also athletes and nations qualifying into the Beijing Olympics, which is just three weeks away. The track, the historic track, the only natural track left on the planet. It's an ice sculpture, the largest ice sculpture in the world. They built it differently each year. They've been building it here for 125 years. A long, straight, narrow, straight away. That's the Swiss Championships, the start record. That'll be broke today. Then you gotta get in, get down quickly, because this long straightaway into the wall curve, the sled tries to get pushed away. You gotta stay straight here. No allowance of hitting the wall here. And we're in the wall, the end of the wall curve, now into snake one and snake two. You can snake your time. Sunny curve. Why? Because it's always in the sun. Now it's Nash and Dixon, named for the two British athletes who won the Olympic gold medal in Innsbruck in 1964. Now into Horseshoe, the most famous curve in the world. Telephone, Devil's Dyke. Nameless, look, look at the corners. All of these corners have a name after them. Now into Tree Bridge, down to Gunner Sachs. Fastest part of the track, 85 miles an hour. 140 kilometers these athletes will reach into the Martino curve, named after the St. Moritz original president of the Bobsled Club and Portago threw it down a long straightaway up into the finish. Here is our World Cup standings, and this is what we're talking about today. Look at Gatukovic, Cripps, and Lochner. Those three guys will be battling for second, third, and fourth. Mr. Friedrich might be on his way to his seventh straight World Cup title. The rest of the field also looking to athletes to qualify into the Olympic Games. Athletes like Rudy Rinaldi, I don't know. Uh, Latvian, whether or not they get two sleds in. The Koreans, Mr. Suck, I don't know if they're gonna get two sleds in. The Japanese, he's got a lot of work to do to qualify to get into the Olympic Games. And so there's the man. What else can you say? He's one of the greatest athletes ever. There's Justin Cripps, he's third in points. Chris Spring, boy, he's had a great second half, that fourth place finish in Altenburg and two men. Then you got Lochner, and then you got more Canadian athletes coming at us. Young Jung Wong, the silver medalist in four man. You know, the athletes are here. Brazil, Ben and Adelie will, the oldest man in the competition of 42 will lead us off. And the first three guys, according to a draw, the next 10 are according to the first World Cup C, top 10 in points. Friedrich will go 10th. On this track, you want to go as late as you can. Afternoon sun. We'll see track records. The question is, how many track records will we see? <laughs> okay, our first athlete from Brazil, Edson Benalali. He is a 42-year-old decathlete, summer Olympic athlete. I think this will be his third Winter Olympic Games if he qualifies, and right now, and two man Bob, Brazil is, should be in. But there's a lot of crazy numbers that get attached, especially when some teams won't accept the full complement of teams in. Some teams will move up. But uh, Edson Benalati deserves to be there. This is a spectacular athlete. Brakeman, Martin, same thing. These are really good track and field athletes. These two don't have a lot of money to work with on tour, but look at the proud Brazilian tradition, great color sleds, uniforms. And when you see them in person, these are athletes. He's the rabbit, first guy down, but in this track, it's not so advantageous to go first. Only natural track that we compete on. Every athlete that comes here is uh, coming to a shrine. 136 kilometers, we'll see 140 kilometers before we're done. 
two and down. Track record, of course, but old 764. The first of, I predict, until Friedrich goes, 10 track records, or six track records. When Friedrich goes 10th, it probably could be the last. And Delati and Martins are finished through and down. Horseshoe, that looks like a medium low line or medium high line. Look at the runner tips. The exit under the super speedway. Then on the bottom, not bad. Next up from Russia, Maxim Andrianov. Ifmov is his brakeman. <laughs> Hanging around. Better in four mans. Better in his four man competitions. Start time better. 523. Now the long straightaway here. You can't make any mistakes. It's his 41st World Cup start. Russians will get two sleds into the Olympic Games. And Andrianov should beat the Brazil time pretty handily. Good exit, 5,300 up, check the speed out. Wow, 106 kilometers. 65 miles an hour in the exit, but next thing you know, you mortar. Look at that right away into 117. And you continue to fly into the fastest part of the track. Gunter Sachs right here, perfect, right down the middle. 140 kilometers, 84 miles an hour plus. Track record, 106.68. How low will they go? 106.68, I'm predicting a 105.58, maybe lower from some of the top sleds. The horseshoe, medium high line, runner tips. You can see him, a little bit of change of direction there. Now into telephone. Why they call it telephone? Well, in the old days, there used to be a telephone there, and if you crash, they radio you back to the top. Don't send anybody. Okay, now, Chin Wan Lee and Ding, his brakeman, crashed in training on the first day of training. They were the last ones down. And the exit of Horseshoe, they hit the hard on the exit, rolled in the telephone. No problem, though. Qualif Ooh, the brakeman might have got too far. A little skid. Good track, you know, start record. But you can see a little bit of wave there coming out of that chink curve. That's not helping the situation, and neither is that. A little different sound of these tracks than those refrigerated tracks. Lee's from Shanghai, track and field athlete, 25 years old. All the Chinese athletes coming from track and field. Let's see how he sets himself up for a horseshoe. The high line is the preferred line. That's the high line. Well schooled. 1600s back. Let's see what the speed is. The best speed. Maybe it was the high line. 1600s back. If he doesn't make any mistakes, he could catch Adriana. Best speed down to 1500s. That's not enough. Still got to come with the best speed. Second best speed. He'll be behind by 20. Change, 23. Tells his brakeman, put the brakes on. The brakeman's got his eyes closed. He doesn't want the ice chips to split up into his face. So I'm surprised they aren't wearing goggles or face masks. So Mr. Lee, through and down. Start. Well, watch what happens. Maybe he goes too far. Look at the look at the runners. Now he's just sort of flicking the run. Now they're on a skid. Brakeman gets in. I think I was counting steps. He's still he's still in too late going around that chink curve, and that's what causes this little change of direction. Okay, here's the top athlete in the field so far. Oscar's keeper Manis. Watch the start. This will be a start record. Should be 
Nice, look at that, 5-11 start. So this decathlete, firefighter from Latvia, hasn't had a good season. I've been sort of on his case a little bit about it, but uh, best finish of the year was a third on his home track in Segolda. Metal was, this is a top athlete. Maybe he's just resting until the Olympics. Three weeks. Good lines. Let's see his high line. Pretty good. Watch the speed here. 2200 up. Doesn't have the best speed. Boy, it's going to be hard for him to keep the 22 going. 28. He does. But he doesn't want to be challenging Andriano. He wants to. He should be. He should be 40, 50 hundreds ahead of Andriano. Best speed expected to be down. 40 hundreds, 37 track record. Another markup for the track record. That's three so far. 37 hundreds, not bad. The medium line in horseshoe. Medium high line, that's pretty high. Runner tips, you could see him turned them a little bit. Slingshot effect. Then down here, not bad. He didn't hit anything down there. That's why he had the second best exit of horseshoe, but the first best down in the finish. Okay, first German sled, Christoph Hafer, Matthias Summer. 23rd World Cup start. He's sixth in World Cup points. Does he get the great starts? Matthias Summer, sports soldier from Winterberg. Gets up time at the start, but this is an excellent driver. Started in Luge. Three tenths down. Could have been really hard to come back. We saw him come back in men's and women's skeleton from three tenths down. We saw him come back a little bit of more, more bottle bob this morning, but he's got to stop the bleeding. He gets it in the 20s, he's got a chance. Speed. 23. Speed. He's got to be the top speed. Second best speed. Tap there, though, out of Devil's Dyke. That's going to cost him a little bit. He's still got a chance. 24. Best speed. Going to run out of track. He might get it down to single digits unless he finds some unbelievable afterburner here. First best speed by a lot. Should get into single digits. He might even do it. No. 1800s. Start time. Get him in. He got beat by 1800s at the start. He got beat by 1800s at the bottom. He drove the better sled. He got beat in the first 50 meters. <laughs> Coaches are always there to relay the times. Pretty good exit. Best speed. Just start. The transition. You want to come over to the middle right of our screen. He's over in the middle, middle of the screen there. Okay, next up, this is an important run for the fifth place World Cup standings for Brad Hall. Nick Gleason on the back. 41st World Cup start. What a great season this Brad Hall has had in two and four. And they got Tukovic for me, the Russian. I've had the breakout seasons. Got about five medals. He's got a slight chance to post some fantastic time here. He's got a really Post some great times. Hope other people falter to get in the top three in the World Cup. And he's got to stay. His guy is right behind him. Hoffer's at the bottom in second. And I don't think that was a good run for Hoffer. Nice. 1300 fast speed. Yes. Fastest speed. 1300s could get down a single digits next clock if he's on point. Down to 11. Getting close. He's got to keep it going. Can't make a mistake here in the straightaway out of Gunter Sachs. 
Perfect. Should be rewarded. Best speed. Gonna be close. Right to the 107. Boy, Andrianov did it. Still. Not too many times that Brad Hall has been beaten by Andrianov. Or Keeper, excuse me, Keeper Manis. Keeper Manis hasn't had that great of a year. But Keeper Manis beat him by four hundredths at the start, seven at the bottom. Start, look at these girls. This is a shorter start. Now watch him get in. Now watch Gleason get in. Let's watch the way Gleason's arms come in. He loads in like cat-like movements. That's a very large man. Look at his arms, perfect cohesion. A lot of dry land training to achieve that type of continuity getting in that sled. We move on. Roman Heinrich, Lionel Lefriebrook. Okay. Now, Mr. Heinrich is starting to improve. 12th and 12th, the last two races. Yeah, skid there. Gives up a lot of time at the start, but you know, this engineer, you know, he's had, made some improvement. He's from Grenoble. He was a shot putter in his day. Ashley Dixon. Right here, there's Dixon. Now the straightaway to Horseshoe. What type of line? Medium high. 3,200 stack. Speed, second best speed. That's pretty good. Exit out of De Devil's Dyke. Was perfect. Should take that 32 and keep it at 32. 30, he's bringing it back. Best speed. Roman Heinrich. Got some eyes and hands. Straight here, he could get rewarded with best speed in the bottom. He is. Should bring it back, low 20s, maybe in the teens. Four, 2,600. Good on the bottom. Fifth best speed, fourth best finish. 700s behind Haffer, even though he beat Haffer by 500s, but uh, that's right on point what he's been doing. Horseshoe, the runner tips. Yeah, you could see him a little, little bit of steering there. I like to say it's not the athlete who drives the most that wins, it's the athlete who drives the least. Especially on this track, does he duck his head or anything? No, he doesn't do that there. The big Omega watch. Oh, we've started quickly. Gatukovic, Motosov from Russia. This is a big story. This is second World Cup points, start record. This young Russian come out. One in Segolda, won a bronze medal in Altenburg, fourth last week, like Brad Hall, one of the breakout seasons. And if he finishes here in the top three, he could walk away with second place and a big globe and a trophy at the end of this day. Started driving in 1617, was a brakeman. Was four years of his career. 1700 sleep, speed. Oh, only the fifth best speed. Let's see, he'll get penalized for that. 1700s, 1400, still the fifth best speed. He might hang in there. Needs the perfect line. Boy, everybody's coming straight there out of Gunter Sachs. Fourth best speed. Should be the leader, but it's going to be close. No, track record. Wait a minute. How did that happen? Whoa. He had the lead, losing at 14. Yeah, I miscalculated there. He was 13, but the fourth best speed made me nervous. But, but mark it down, the fourth track record of the day. That's a good run. That puts him ahead of Keeper Manis and Hall. Two of the people that are chasing him down in the World Cup standings. Look at the arms come up by the brakeman. That's excellent technique. Then he buries himself behind the driver for aerodynamics. He's happy. He should be. Interesting story here. Frank Del Duca, Joshua Williamson for the United States. 
Del Duca's second World Cup in his career last week. He was in Winterburg, finished like 17th or 18th. Williamson's been around for three, four years from the United States. Let's see what these two athletes can do. Wow, fifth best start. 522. Del Duca did pretty good the four man last week. He's a University of Maine protege, track and field athlete. Got a little car racing background. He's driving a sled down here. It's like driving a rally car through the woods. Now well, he started off fifth best. He's up to fourth. Ooh, tap before horseshoe. Medium high. One of the highest lines we've seen. 3,800 back. Speed. Eighth best speed. Not good. Tapped out of Devil's Dyke. He's lost. Still in fourth at the moment. 4,100. Fifth now. Eighth best speed. Thought you'd expect this. This is a rookie on tour. Into the finish with the eighth best speed. Could hold on to fifth or sixth. Wouldn't be bad. Seventh. 5,500s back. 500s from Andrianov. Pretty far back from Heinrich. Frank Del Duca. Good job, Frank. Tap here didn't help. That's right before Horseshoe. Then he puts a little bit of a skid. Look how high he gets. Mm, I don't have a problem with that line, but he might have to steer harder. You can see some steering there to come off. The most spectacular curve on the planet. And then the exit out of Devil's Dyke. That was costly. Boy. Guess who? Francisco Friedrich Thorsten Margus. Put your seatbelts on. Start record expected. Not. Nah. Well, 510. Whoa. Gatukovic beat him by 300. Whoa. Let's see if he ducks his head a little bit here. No. He won on this track. His first appearance here, 2013 World Championships. He won it is from the Junior World Champion. Then he went on to win the World Championships in 15, 16, 17, 8, and then he won the gold in 18, then he won 19, 20, 21. Do I have to say anything else? Lost once in about 23 events. 500, it's not a surprise. Best speed doesn't surprise me. Now the question is how far is he going to get away from the rest of the field? Well, best speed. Quiet. Ooh, that wasn't perfect. Drift, best speed, 142.9. About 1,800s out. Another track record. 2,900s out. Boy, he had it going on the bottom. He really took it away on the bottom. He's 2,900s. There's a couple challengers coming yet. That might be the end of the track record. Five times. We broke the track record. Yeah, he didn't get up near the lip, but he's pretty high. And nice exit. Look at this. Has he come to the middle? Yeah, pretty much to the middle on the telephone, on the take on. Right away, he pays attention to his runners. Those are like his children. Okay, next up, we have some hometown Mikael Vogt. Andreas Haas. You can tell it's a hometown crowd. He's going to give up some time here at the start. Who pushed Bari? Waits patiently. Fifth best time, 521. Needs to be perfect here. Can't really say he's got a home track advantage. Hasn't been on the track much. It didn't get built till Christmas. Andreas Haas, 25 years old. He's a 100-meter sprinter. He's a food technologist. He's the only guy I know in the field that has that profession. Quiet. He's eighth in World Cup points. 3,300s back. Well, so is everybody. Boom. Hard hit there. Third best speed. That might cost him. Hanging in there, though, fifth. Fourth best speed there. He can still get down into the 
40 hundreds back. He could still get ahead of Keeper Manisbo. He doesn't have very good speed, though. Fish could be six. There it is, 61 hundreds back. Behind Hafner. Hafner, Hall. Hundredth from Hafner. 12 hundreds from Hall. Seven hundreds above. He doesn't like it. Stake at a Devil's Dyke. This isn't a horseshoe. He gets over in that wall in his terms. Didn't tap. Yes, she was right up there with Frank Del Duca. Exit didn't have very good speed, though. Then this big hit here out of Devil's Dyke, I think it is. And that hurt him. OK, here's our leader, Friedrich Gatukovic and Keeper Manis. Many more to go. Justin Cripps, Camp Stones. Lucky player in the back. Just an all around athlete in the front seat. Start. Yeah, 514, manageable. Velocity, watch it on the left. Fifth best velocity. Well, not perfect. Stones just had a birthday, like Cripps. And uh, the guy who's buying to beat Gatukovic. He is only nine points behind Gatukovic. So he needs to get ahead of Gatukovic by one place. And he'll be second in World Cup points. Speed, 1,500 back. That's pretty good. Speed, fifth best speed, though. Can't bleed any more time here. Gatukovic is 2,900 back. Third best, 17. Right now, he's ahead of Gatukovic. 200 meters to go. Needs to be straight. He is. Fifth best speed. Should be about 2,500s, 2,000s. Should be ahead of Gatukovic. 26, 300s ahead of Gatukovic. Mission Woo! accomplished in that run for the Olympic gold medalist from 2018, Justin Cripps, tied to the 100th of the second with Francisco Friedrich. Great run, buddy. Love these pictures, how high he got up there. And the exit, the slingshot effects into the super speedway. Daytona, NASCAR, Talladega. St. Moritz is a super speedway in the sport of bobsledding. Okay, here's Johannes Lochner, Florian Bauer. Okay, Lochner's fourth to World Cup points. He's got a long ways back. He's gonna have to do something super here and get some help, start. Well, he got a great start. Fourth best start, should have the fourth velocity. Third best velocity, so you congratulate his breakman. In the round, this good run too around the first curve. Clean. Sunny. Ten hundred back. That's not too bad. Keeps it about 10, 12 hundreds. He's got a chance for seconds. Fifth best speed. Don't like it. Rough transition there. Eighteen hundreds back. Boy, he's gonna have to be perfect here. This looks like third or fourth. Ooh, that's a mistake. Ugh. Fifth or sixth, sixth best speed. Stake by Honest Locker, bottom part of the track. Second! What would he have done if he didn't make that mistake? Boy, same thing with the leader, Friedrich. Both of these German sleds were really quick in the last 200 meters. I, that's the worst lines we've seen That's as high as anybody. Only had the fifth best speed with this line. Of course, we're coming late in the heat. Tough to tell, but this was a, what would you, where would you bet if he didn't do this? This caught me by surprise that time. Second, okay, well, we go to the, one of the nicest guys on tour, 
Chris Spring, Mike Evelyn, Evelyn's an engineer, electrical engineer. Springer, well, he started his career in Australia at the 2010. Oh, oh don't, don't put it down yet. Not yet, Chris. Wait, there you go. Way to be patient there. Would have put it down too early. He would have headed on the, on the wall. That would have been very costly. Only 1,500s back. Seventh best start for the Springer. Who, you know, he's doing pretty good. You know, with the fourth place in Altenburg. Started off not very good, but didn't compete in either one of the Segolda races. Winterberg last week was respectable. Tenth. Watch the speed. This guy, he's got some good eyes and hands. Eighth best speed, 50 hunters. He needs to get the fifth or sixth best speed. Right now he's at 11th. He's dropping more. Well, he had the eighth, seventh best start, but he's not going to have the seventh best time down here. Hope he proves me wrong. Yeah. This looks like 90, 86. 106, 75. I don't think Chris Spring's going to like that run. He's got a lot of experience on this track. Where's the speed? You got it. No speed. He said it as soon as he, he knew it coming in, but he didn't have any speed any place. Maybe the track, maybe it's like with the refrigerator tracks. Maybe the speed's gone away. Ooh, that's where the speed went, Chris. Didn't see that in the front shot. That's what happened. And this, this isn't as bad as the first one out of the wall curve in the snake. Young Jun Wan, Brakeman Kim, 13th in World Cup points. But he's been coming on. You know, he doesn't get a great start. 17, 21, 17, 21, 9, 6, and 7. The last three races. Oh, he didn't get down good enough. Start. Ow. He can't make a mistake. We're in the clear visor. We can see his eyes perfectly. He gets through where Chris Spring made his mistake. Mm, tapped a little bit before the... S1, Sunny, 3,700's back. Mm. Maybe get out the 4,500, stop the bleeding, and attack the bottom part of the track. Oh, boy, he was low there. 4,200 speed. Wow, best speed! You can't say there's no speed left in the track with that. He did make a mistake on the exit. Of, I think it was Devil's Dyke. Fifth best speed. Well, he's gone from the 11th best start. He's up to 7th. Oh, he makes the big mistake. That's what cost him his speed in the bottom. 7th or 8th, though. Not bad for the start. 7th. 5,400s. 600s at a half turn. 700s ahead of Voigt. 500s behind Brad Hall. He's coming. He gets a start time in China. He's coming. He made a couple mistakes there, but that exit of Horseshoe... Boy, did that catch my attention with the best speed of the day. Look at it. The brakeman's in before he is. Looks like he gets caught. Then look at the sled. That's going in the wrong direction. A lot of pressure in that first chink curve. Then down here, this is a no-no. But you're at 83 miles an hour there. That's not so costly. It is up top. Okay, Austin Taylor, Jay Deborn. Austin Taylor had a great season over there in America, North America's Cup. See what he can do. Start, you know. 14th best start. He's got a lot of work to do from that. Quiet lines. Probably hasn't got too many experience on this track, but he'll be the third sled in the Canadian Olympic Games. So all that hard work that he's done over the North America Cup Tour, well, he's He's done it. He's getting rewarded. Let's see what he can do here on the exit. Medium high. 4,800s isn't bad. 16th best speed is suspect. Taylor Austin. Into the finish. Let's see what he does here. A little tap. 
15th best speed. You know, this looks like about 11th, though. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad for this rookie. 7,700 SPACs. He's in front of Andrianov and Frank Del Duca. And Chris Spring beat his teammate Chris Spring. Spring's mistake up there in the exit of the wall curve. That sentenced him to this position. Not bad. Taylor Austin, not bad. Look at the lines. Look at the brakeman perfectly balanced in there. A little early here out of sacks. But didn't oversteer. Not bad. Friedrich, Lochter, Cripps, Gatukovic, Keeper Manis. Our good friends from Romania, Tintea, Darozzi. 14th in World Cup points. Do here. We'll start. He's always suspect at the start. But he's hanging in there. He's got some injuries. This is his 23rd World Cup start for the young Romanian. I'd like to say he's still the youngest in the field. We've been saying that for every year he's been out here since 2017 when he showed up as a 17-year-old at the World Championships in Konexu. Fifty six hundred back, you know. Fourth best speed. Tap out of the Devil's Dyke curve. Another tap there. Well, he's at the 16th best start. He's got it up a little bit, but losing it here, 15th or so at the moment, unless he finds. Ooh, it was real hard transition off sacks. 14th best speed. Maybe 14th if he's lucky. 15, 9,500's back, but he's in a close group. Not far from Spring, Del Duca. Now we got to start talking about who's going to make the cut. At the start, a little spikes. Look at him. Everybody's got a different technique. He come off the back bar to the forward, and they have to be such a great cohesion here at the start. Watch the brakeman come in, watch his arms. Great technique by the Romanian brakeman. And then down here, he made a mistake there. Evels Dyke, that cost him. From, uh, from Latvia, Sipulis, Kleinbergs. Well, you know, I think they're going to get two sleds in. Latvia right now is scheduled to get two sleds in. No, they're, yes, they are. So, almost pre-qualified for the games. He's a rookie on tour. You know, he's, Latvians, they got great equipment. They got big, strong athletes. You know, his start time, eighth best, which isn't bad. Best finish of the year was in his home track, Segolda, 11th. Four tenths back, not bad. First best speed. That's strange. Second sled, second to last three sleds have had the best speed. 4,500 is back. Fifth best speed. This isn't bad. Eighth best start. It's ninth at the moment. Hey, this isn't bad for this young Latvian. Threw it down. Nice. Eleventh. Yeah, he's in front of Austin, the Canadian, Andriana. 700s behind Heinrich. Not bad. I don't know how many trips he's had here in San Moritz. He'll definitely be in the second row. Start. Now, you can't run as far as you want. Here, see what he does. In, down. How's the runner tips looking? Quiet. You know, not bad. Not a bad start. Down here, though. Does he hit the wall on the left, his right? Yep. Not bad, though. Okay. Team Suck here. Young Jun Suck. And Yang is breaking. He's been struggling most of the year, this young Korean. 
Doesn't get the starts, number one. 19th best start. Taps right after curve one. 17th best velocity, so there is some victory there. Let's see what he can do here. Now, we're talking about 20 sleds qualifying for the second run. Right now, he's in 18th spot. Ooh, that's not gonna help. Let's see if he gets the top speed like we've seen the last two clocks. 17, okay, that's back to norm. Now, into the speed part of the track, 18. We have to do better than that. There's a couple more sleds that could get him. Seventeenth best speed should be about eighteen. Could be seventeen. Eighteen. Yeah, and he's way off Lee from China. He's gonna be on the cut line. There he is up top, the stake out of Dixon. Skid going into the horseshoe. Then he has a medium low line. Now ready for Scott from China. So Here, mm, Devil's Dyke. Mm, not bad, not perfect. Kazai Sun from China. She is breakman. Let's see what these the athletes can do. 23rd in World Cup points. He had a 14th place in Winterberg last week, which was pretty cool. You know, 17th best velocity, 17th best start. I'm seeing the break of shoulders back there. Shouldn't see the break of shoulders in that shot. High speed track here. I'm sure the Looters will watch this race. Let me see that. So again, he's pretty good at Winterberg, 14th last week, surprised a lot of people. 7,700's back, his 18th spot. Doesn't tap their 13th best speed. Didn't tap on a Devil's Dyke, which is a good opportunity for better acceleration. Ninth best speed, that's pretty good. Still 18th though. 12th. Maybe to get to 17th. To help his efforts to qualify. 18th, 111. Oh, he's right behind his teammate by 900. Yeah, his teammate beat him by 900 at the start, beat him in 900s at the bottom. His teammate crashed the training, though, so. Watch the steering. Watch what they do here. Look at that. As soon as he gets in, he checks those runners. Is that from the Pierre Luters School in St. Moritz? Down here, Nash and Dixon. A little tap there. That's not friendly. Next up from the United States, Hunter Church, Carlo Valdez. Church, great result last weekend in the four-man in Winterberg, his second ever World Cup medal, first ever on a German track. He had good starts, and 526 starts. Got a lot of work to do now. Look at him hide behind, ooh, watch out. Little move up there, look at him lean into the curve, that's a correct procedure. Don't steer, use your body weight up here where the speeds are slow. Church, three generation bobsledder, his grandfather, Father Tom, I want him to compete. Speeds, gonna need him. Ooh, late there. 6,600 back. 18th best speed. Big hit out of Devil's Dyke. Boy, he's gonna be scrambling now to make the cut here. Unless he finds some magic line down here at the bottom. Ooh, stake there. Bridge and leap. That's not good there either. 
This is the 18th best speed. This looks like the 19th best run. Don't know if he's going to be good to make the cut. A little different for Brian Scheimer today, than this, this afternoon, than this morning, when the U.S. women went 1-2 in the monobob race. Del Duca, the best American at the moment, he'll make the cut. He's in 14th. Hunter's on the bubble. Big steer to get off that curve. Then he's late here. Watch the sled flop a little bit there. Back runner. First time we've seen anybody do that. Watch it here. Might be able to see it too. The transition. Look at the articulation on the sled. All the energy went back right. His right, our left. Down here in Devil's Dyke. He's one of the many victims of the exit of that curve. Here's our standings to date. Friedrich, Lochner, Cripps, Gatukovic, Keeper Manis, Hall, Juan. Same cast of characters. Now we start looking at who's going to qualify. Patrick Bumgardner from Italia, Lorenzo Bilotti. Ooh, the start time, the 20th sled down, the 20th start. Good velocity, though. Driving a brand new sled. Not that white sled he's been doing the last three weeks, the rental from Belgium. Uh, this is a brand new sled built by Manny Mahata. Ferrari Red. Well, he's moved it up one, 20th to 19th. Good lines, he can sneak it into 18. Experienced driver. Got a lot of trips. Been on St. Moritz a lot of times. Look at the speed, best speed. Yeah, let's see if he gets rewarded. 67th, he's up to 1700s. See if it coming. Second best speed. Maybe this sled's got some value to it. 14th. That's cool. 20th best start. 14th best finish. That's a good driver in driving a piece of equipment that's brand new. I don't know if they tested it other than here, but I was explained this was a brand new sled but built by the German Mami Mani Mahata, who's their coach. Start who doesn't get good starts. So you know the skid here too without a, without a good start, and then that whew, double mistake. Okay, Rudy Rinaldi and Anthony Rinaldi. Wow, a couple of Rinaldis here. And everybody's saying, is this brothers? I don't know. I haven't seen him much all year. That is his brother, being confirmed. First time I've seen him all year. First time I've seen him in years, because he's, you know, and he's still struggling with injuries, struggling, struggled, missed a couple races with COVID. He wasn't too optimistic about having a chance to qualify in the Olympic Games. And 23rd sled down, 23rd best start. And I don't think he's going to find a way to get in the cut here. That's such promise. A couple of years ago, World Cup in Lake Placid, I think it was 2000, December 18. He led after the first heat, crashed in the second heat. But showed some great promise then. Foot injuries. Just hasn't been able to get it going. Seventh best speed. So, you know, he's, he's got it down to 21. He might sneak into 19 or 20. That didn't help. Seventh best speed. He's showing some great eyes and hands. 20th. He does. It's Bruno Mejean, the French world champion from 1999. Coaches Monegast in the French. Okay, Rudy, 23rd best start, 20th finish. You drove very well. This is where everybody's hap, you know, hitting. So there's another victim. I'd say 17 of 23 sleds gone through there have tapped that wall. Next up from Austria, Marcus Treichel. You know, in Austria, well, they, they're listed to have two sleds. 
Marcus Gluck is Brakeman. Gives up time at the start. Ooh, watch out, push bar. Okay, good. Okay, not bad. Not bad. That great start. 518. It's awesome. Let's see if he can do something with it. Really low in the cowling. They're on the Austrian team in the field. Benny Meyer tested positive. Missed the second consecutive race. What he did to do here with that eighth best start. Oh, well, he's still an eight. Rudy Rinaldi on the bubble. 3,900 back, still an eight. 15th best speed though. He didn't tap out of Devil's Dyke. Let's see if he gets rewarded. 4,200 back, ninth. He's hanging in there. Doing pretty well. Hasn't had better than 11th place all season. That was the second race in Innsbruck, 16th best speed. This should be a top 10, maybe. Ninth. Okay, Wolfgang Stomper says, we'll take that. Boy, you have Wolfgang Stomper, coach. You, you know you got some of the best runners on your sled. Try to go post his best heat of the year, maybe. Finish 11th one other time. So that Sun now is on the bubble. Rinaldi and Church are out to start here. Listen, this is one of his better starts I think I've ever seen him get. The front end of that sled was rocking pretty good, though. Maybe a not a correct easy entry into the sled. But to get in those sleds with cat-like movements, I don't think they get in there like cats. Okay, Dominic Dvorak. Okay, let's see what Team Dvorak can do here. And the Kathleen in the front seat. Hasn't had a very good year. Had a chance to talk to him. My first event in two years being on site with the athletes. And what's going on, man? You're, got a, you're one of the better athletes at the start. Where's your start? Had some back problems. Had a, couldn't train all summer. He's got some real back issues. You know, that speaks for itself. Best finish of the year was a 14th at the opening event in Innsbruck. He missed both Segolda races, 17th last week in Winterberg. And boy, he's better hustle. He's got the 18th best start. Gonna need top 12 or so speed here. He sits back. Fourth. Doesn't tap so hard out of Devil's Dyke like everybody else. Got it up to 15th. This is a qualifying run. On the bubble, Sun from China. Dvorak's gonna bump him out. Six best speed. He's got the eyes and hands. Doesn't have the start time he used to get. 11th best. That's pretty impressive. 18th best start, 11th finish. Impressive. Dvorak, he was third in World Cup points in four man in the 2021 season. Good driver to get great starts. He'll live for another run. The run coming up is the final run of the World Cup season. Did everything right down here with the deficient start. Anything out of a top 10 start is I call it deficient. Great transition there out of Snake to Sunny. And the Dutch are away, Eva De Bruyne yelling Frontrick. Oh, 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 watch out. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, now, there you go. Little bump, though. He's probably concentrated putting the push bar down and forgot he couldn't steer. Bump the wall a little bit. Now, he gets bad starts. That wasn't too bad, though. 15th best start. That's better than what he's been getting. Evo, 16th early in the season, 19th the last two weeks in Winterberg. He's a good driver. He gets, you know, he drives well, gets top 10 speeds, he can make the cut. Numbers in the left. Ooh, don't even want to look at those numbers. 16th now, jeez, those numbers were 6,300's back, he's 19th now. 20th best speed. Those numbers tell me he's not gonna do it.
ducks his head. Yep, tries to. 60! Boy, did he prove me wrong. 20th best time, but obviously on the speed part of the track, he pointed the sled in the right direction, and Evo De Bruyne will advance to the next round. Should be happy with that. This, mm, he's trying to check the runners, and that was a B minus. The rest of the way down, well, he shows his experience. He's got about 90 World Cup starts. Been there, done that in the sport. Hey, there, guys. Okay, Lamin Dean. Sam Blanchett. Haven't really had some great numbers all year. Best finish of the year was a 20th in the Altenburg race. Altenburg won. Ooh. Well, 24th best time. Lamin, well, looks like the British will qualify one sled as I look at now. One sled into the Olympic Games. So this could be Lamin's last two-man race of the season. Maybe his career. Been a great represent representative of the sport. Seventy-five hundred. Ooh, hard hit. 16 speeds, not bad. He's getting it. The 23rd, 22nd, 24th best speed, 23rd. I don't think so. On the bubble right now is Tentea from Romania. 21st best speed. I think Tentea is safe. 1.16. Okay. Might be Lamin Dean's last trip to the two man bobsled. Medium low line, Sam Blachette perfectly in the sled for the aerodynamic position. Just no start, no speeds, hard hit there, way over to the right side. Wrong way to enter that next curve. Much better tomorrow. Talking about four man, he knows it's over. That's it. 27 sleds down and Tintea will be the first guy off. Friedrich and Marcus. Hey, they won the world championships on this track a couple times. They won almost every race on this track they've ever been in. They just didn't have the best start time either. Usually he does that little drift in the finish, but he is human, I think. But uh, it's another day at the office for the guy who's 22 out of 23 events or something like that. Friedrich and Margus Lochner right there. Cripps, remember, Gatukovic and Cripps are fighting for the second and third spots. Lochner, he's still got a chance. He's fourth in World Cup points, but Cripps and Gatukovic have to have dropped out a couple spots. Kieber Manis could be the spoiler in there. Top 20, make the run. Del Duca from the United States, 18th. He sneaks in there with Josh Williamson. Patrick Bumgarner in a brand new sled. Pretty impressive. 17th. Here's the athletes who will not make a second run. Both Chinese sleds will be watching. Dean, Rinaldi, Church. Well, one more heat to go in the two-man World Cup bobsled season on the historic track at St. Moritz. I think it's coming at us in about a half hour. Join us then for the final heat. See who's going to capture these World Cup folks.
Nur die Bildschirme sind als Sekuritas Leuten auf euch dienen. Dann, Nando Tardo Guadalini, Jürg Leuchtlicher, Peter Fritzloni, Alberto Cerfoni, Irgard Rechberger, Anna Moretz, 